yesterday open camera was updated which meant it had this thing called ghost image I've covered that in a previous video now we're going to use open camera Android ghost image to create a YouTube channel art banner photograph so this is going to be in three parts number one if you this is one two and three by the way in the Shan language of Burma I just thought it looked nice the introduction which is right now is setting out the stall then I'm going to swap over to a demo then I'm going to come back and load it up and show you how it's worked so if we go back to this main slide here you'll notice the big grey template we're going to use as the ghost image and one I did earlier is my little yellow school bus which is done a month or so ago without a template and I'll show you exactly what I mean because if you are talking about creating or editing channel art in YouTube, YouTube do give you a couple of help bits. So on a computer they come along and they say you can add it or change it. They give you a couple of guidelines, particularly with this 2560 by 1440. And then that's where they give you this grey screen to say that if you want the text and logo area, the dead centre rectangle is the bit which will show across the devices, i.e. desktop minimum and mobile and then it goes out to desktop and this massive bottom and top gets a bit lost unless you're on a TV so the point of it is going back is to say that if we were just going to take one photograph would this school bus image actually fit and the, the answer is that it doesn't and that is because you can see that it's sort of ghosted out here because I've done a transparency is the template and you can see with my mouse thing here that the top of the bus doesn't quite line up if you wanted to line it up exactly you'd have to come out on this second image here um, see the first image it actually goes exactly like that where you can see it's um, lost the roof and if you go down to moving it uh, so it does actually fit to the central area then you get this um, wastage around the outside and it's quite an annoying thing quite honestly to get organized with um, for a little bit of background if you've gone out and you've taken some pictures which say you know as I did when I first got this school bus it was a nice day and I went out and I thought oh, I'll take a few pictures not not for channel art but just generally to take the pictures which one could I use and you'll find that naturally taking a picture you wish to come in and make a nice photo like that you know potentially if you've got these minute um, people in our school bus down by the riverside they would get out and have a wander around I particularly like the, the image down here at the bottom which is the one where the, the school bus is going along the mountain road obviously um, it is um, not a mountain road it's actually a bit of grass because this actual um, alloy metal cast iron bus thing is about five and a half inches long but I thought it's nice as an illustration so what we need to do is we need to really go over and say what's the point of this here's a test channel with nothing on it um, here's a test channel same one with again nothing on it so we're going to um, use ghost image and update this gray area so what have other people done for me I've done so many of these and this is why I did a, a super yellow slide with a, a logo of the, of the bus in the middle because it just takes time to do and I thought I'm not really sure I'm just going to shove some yellow and a couple of words on there however what have other people done with a photo now you could argue very easily that the um, London Zoo here have got a lovely picture here from a telephoto lens because if you got your mobile and got that close I'm sure this line would eat you so that is definitely a single image I can't tell top or bottom you know what the image is but it's pretty obviously one single image if we go to Georgia Aquarium let's say you're in the aquarium somewhere I mean this could be under the sea but it could be in the aquarium it looks like it's one image so if you were using a mobile which you could do in the aquarium say looking up then you may see the shark coming along and think actually I've got my ghost image on I'm going to take one decent image similarly finishing off with the Seattle Aquarium if you did this with one one image then you've got the seal here which is um, the head is sort of you know centered slightly to the right and then you come along and you can narrow these things down in other words just to see how they scale and go in reverse that will scale there's that scaling of the shark one there's the scaling of the lion and of course we go back to the scaling of my channel point of it being that we need to go over to the demo right right now 
Okay then, so having established that we want to make a YouTube banner with a school bus, what I've done is set up the school bus on some blue card. So at this stage, what we can see, and if I track back, look, you can see the top of my microphone. We can look and say that we put the green outside of 16 by 9 overlaid onto our open camera. However, you can see that if I keep moving it around to say that we want to come in and make exactly that YouTube banner, we're never going to achieve it, obviously, because we've got no ghost image. So what we do is set up that ghost image, as we said, as a selected image, once again as the YouTube official template. Then we can come out of that and you can see that it is literally sat in there. So if I go really close with the little school bus we can see that the text and logo safe area is clearly smaller than the school bus. So what we can do is we can set this up and I'm just going to move the microphone a tiny bit um, and then track back until we can get something that may be okay. So remember this is a blue screen so we can chroma key out later if we wish. That is starting to look okay. So I'm just going to try and position up and then I'm going to say, okay, let's move it over there. This is a really effective method, I think. Let's say safe area is about taken photograph. There is the photograph that we've just taken, which looks literally like that. At the moment, I would say that the school bus looks a little bit lost, but we are told that if we go back literally to um, open camera, then we can see, by the way, open camera is showing us our images or our slideshow, sorry, our saved photographs inside open camera, not in um, Google Photos. So if I wanted to go back and just see what I've done, I could actually go and open up Google Photos on its own and there is the standalone Google Photos of course but if I go back and I'm going to just going to do one more to get an idea for this so I can come on and say here is my safe area and if I wanted to do one which is quite far away and I'm going to bring it right over here this time and you can notice that I can spend a long time I'm hand holding the camera by the way let's take one so we've got two images, and now I'm going to put those on desktop and then show you how they look in a uh, sample YouTube banner account of mine. Now if I go and look at this, that is starting to be like quite a nice picture of our little five and a half inch school bus. So that is the sort of thing that I would say take, which is a great photo in itself. But when you go and apply something like that to get it into the YouTube banner, all sorts of problems um, happen that, that's happened to me in the past quite a lot. Now I'm actually losing track of this video because I'm quite happy. You can probably hear the uh, British rain falling out of the sky on a Sunday morning at the moment. And I can come and bring that right out. Let's have a look at the back of the bus literally so, so you can see this thing here that we can come in we can say here's a nice image for 16 by 9 but if I wanted it to be that banner I'm gonna to have to come quite, quite honestly quite far out so if I just bring that there and bring that over here it's quite a therapeutic thing photography isn't it, when you get going I just want to make sure that we're about now you probably wouldn't use that but you might Oh, does that just a fit? Just a fit. It's interesting speaking because sometimes we can't speak at all, can we? Because our words come out wrong. Right, let's finish this bit of the video. And then we, as if by magic, walk back up the stairs and we come back to the machine, seeing that there are five images that we took in real life. So these, remember, were four by threes um, with the first one, then the second one, the third one, which of course was a nice picture, but it's not suitable fourth and fifth looking behind so the point of it is is if we go back and we can say okay so looking at the four by three image before it's cropped and things then in theory it will fit exactly this rectangle so we've got the bus in the middle 
for filling the dark rectangle area everything else should look nice and blue so if we make that and crop it down I've used Windows Picture Manager or whatever it's called and cut it down I've got a file which is 2560 by 1440 and it should look exactly like that so let's go ahead and do that to finish this off which is the what was it the last piece which was the end the proof is in the pudding so we go in and we say how can we upload this so we want to add some channel art and we want to get that image give me one second to grab that image which i am now doing of course which is going to be where it is that's why i want to get it uh yeah let's use this one so bring that in drag it in and it looks like that now it's already to five six oh by fourteen forty, and it gives you a preview you could um adjust the crop but hey it should be good it should be good and it looks like it's pretty good actually and there it is saved this is a demonstration remember if the weather had been better i would have got out and about and got loads of examples for myself and everyone else so i think that is pretty uh, i was going to say sweet actually because that fits i think it fits which is quite nice really um, okay that's it so that was the ghost image over and done with to finish up to say it was open camera Android ghost image and it was channel art banner I'm sure there are loads and loads of examples we can use this ghost imaging um, in open camera so there we go people goodbye